Yo, what's up everyone? So, um, back with another video. I've got this external hard drive from, for a good deal, actually. And I've been eyeing on this for quite a while because I'm lacking in storage. I need a future expansion storage where I can store all my photos, all my videos and files without having to worry about um, running out of space. Um, let me show you guys my current space. So I've got um, a quite decent storage, but I'm really, really lacking on it. As more for as for my video storage, I've got 300 gigs left out of four terabytes. My eight terabytes, I've got one terabyte left, and my SSD, I've got 200 gigs left out of one terabyte. My four terabytes, I've got only about 188 gigs left out of 4 terabytes and my OS which is my boot drive 48 gigs instead of 250 gigs left so I really need um, a future storage that's one of the reasons why I bought this Seagate expansion uh, external storage as I don't want to deal with uh, internal wires and all that I'll just rather buy an SSD or external hard disk for this. Um, Let's go to the unboxing, shall we? Just this, and there we go. It's quite a big module. Right. So just cut this open. Stop it open. Stop it open. And then it's there. this off. We must tear the plastic off. Ta -da. I went with um, Seagate because they made one of the best hard disk. And also there's a USB, two USB module where I, where I can just put a um, pen drive or flash drive or anything like my phone directly so I can just connect it without having to turn on my PC. I mean like without having to much hassle, I'd say. So, um, for Windows, blah blah blah. I hope 10 terabytes is enough. There's a bigger size, like 16 terabytes, but for now I'll just go with 10 terabytes and probably in the near future or in the future I'll uh, get um, a NAS storage instead and put as many hard drives, uh, hard drive as I want. So let's cut this open. And yeah. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Gotta be careful here. I don't want to ruin my hard disk. Oh, straight to the point, huh? Some paper works. Adobe Creative Cloud Plan Photography Plan. So I can claim this before um, 31st January. I can use the Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan and for about two months. So a backup plus hub. So I mean it is like a USB hub, but uh, also external storage. Put this there. Let me see what I've got in, inside. Oh, there's more. There's more stuff here. I guess it's the wires and all that. So this here. The box. The power source, obviously. Ah, it's quite heavy. So in order to use this um external hard disk, you don't just need um a normal USB-B cable but you also need a power source for this to work and this is the power source so this is the um, US plug this is the Australian plug multiple plugs actually Australian plugs the two plugs and the final one is the UK plug it's quite good because they have um, different types of modules you know, UK US 
the Asian cup, whatever. This is the Australian cup. And this is the UK cup in which we're gonna use it. So plenty of um plenty of storage. I mean plenty of uh plugs, universal plugs. So no matter where you are in the world, you can still use this. Let's just rip this off, shall we? More plugs! Wow, I thought they've given enough plugs. I just need this. Well, a bonus. Great. I like plugs like this because it's really, really universal. I don't have to ca be carrying around many adapters. It bothers me. And yeah. Ta da! This back inside. Uh, connect the power pins here and then just slide it in. Just put this pin inside and let me see. I don't know how this works. I think it works like that. Actually, I think it works out. So put this, I have put this in. This is the cable, the USB 3 to USB B cable, like your regular hard drive cable. And shall we go over here? It's quite a big and heavy um, hard disk, hub, whatever you call it. I mean, it's a three point. Inside there's a 3.5 inch. 10 terabytes hard disk. What? So what do you expect? So pretty much straight to the point. You just connect this power source through here, and then you connect this USB cable through here for data access, and that's about it. Just connect this to your PC or your computer. And then if you wanna uh, straight up copy files into here, you just put it into the US front USB hub here without having to go through your PC again for conveniency but but since i'm moving forward to the future and i'm planning to not planning to but more slightly move to everything usb-c so i've got this usb type c cable to usb-b cable and as you can see from here so instead of using the normal usb USB uh, B cable. I'm gonna have a USB C. I'm gonna plug this into my computer to USB um, B. Yes. For much better transfer and feature proofing. As I am running out of USB 3 on my PC and I have plenty of USB C unused on my PC, I bought this wires. So this one, it's a, I can use it for. Um, a backup for any external hard disk because this is quite long and I'll just put this to the side back to the box. So yeah, pretty straight up to the point. Um, glossy and grills and some airflow from overheating. Um, prone to scratch I guess, but I don't think you'll bring it anywhere around. You just put it on your top of your desk or something. So yeah, that's about it. Um, straight up to the point. Seagate Backup Plus Hub Desktop Storage with Internet Integrated USB Hub 10 terabytes, And I hope this lasts me for quite a while Thank you very much for watching And see you guys next time I guess Till another video Peace out